much for coming here. And uh, I think I have a lot of questions to ask, but I will uh, basically go um, to maybe one or two. Okay. Um, were you were aware that Onyendu was illegally abducted from Kenya? Um, Hello? Can you, can you be specific to your question? Okay. Was I aware from what time okay. and to okay. what time? Okay. So, um, when he was abducted, oh. when he was illegally oh. abducted from sorry. Kenya... Maybe, and, sorry, madam. Maybe you want to ask me when was I aware that Tony was adopted? Is that is that what you want to ask me? Well, um, either ways, either ways, because either you know, or whether when you know, that's still the same thing. Because all of us are aware. I was aware that he was abducted, so you were aware that he was abducted. Yes, I was aware that he was abducted on the twenty seventh okay. of June when the Nigerian establishment. Did you ask questions to those who were like taking care, or maybe people who usually, you know, uh, bought his plane, or people who are, you know, working with him directly? Did you ask those questions? Do you, did you, okay, he was abducted for, for eight days, none of us knew about it. Did you ask those questions? Did you find out from the people who were supposed to find out if, I mean, you know, what went wrong? Well, yes, then I answer your question. And I'll give you a background before I answer your question. On the 27th, the news broke that our leader was arrested, was kidnapped. The first person who sent me that news was my deputy, Mazin Shumi. He sent it to me and he said, Look at what I saw. I said, don't mind them. This is the zoo and their nonsense. That was my response because for me, it was unimaginable. And then hours later, all the news carried it and then it began to spread. And the shock was deep in me. In fact, for when in my workplace for a couple of hours, I couldn't, I couldn't get it. I couldn't make sense out of it. And after I recovered from that shock, I left work. I went home and I called an emergency U.S. meeting. And we began to deal on this matter. And what are we going to do? What happened? What happened? What happened? After that day, we said, okay, we will individually make our own investigations. And yes, I called people who are close to and who may know First person I called was the secretary. I called her and I asked her the direct question if she was aware and what time, at what date was she or became she I have the knowledge that Oyendu was arrested. And bearing in mind that on the 19th, I had a meeting with Oyendu um, in the morning during a fundraising, and there was supposed to be a second one with the U.S. Um, later in the evening, and he didn't turn up to that meeting. So I asked her, at what time did you know? Because after that meeting that Oyendu didn't come, the following day I called the secretary, and I asked her, were you able to reach Oyendu up to this moment? She said, that is probably 24 hours after Oyendu didn't come to that meeting. She said, no, she didn't reach. Uh, she couldn't reach, her, reach him. And that um, this is somehow um, um, unusual. I said, okay. The following day again, I called her. That will be the 21st. Were you able to reach Oyendu? Man, either I called her, I sent him a speech. I asked again before day. She says, did not. Then we got the message of women being kidnapped. And then I called her um, on the 28th of January and asked her when she became aware. She, she became aware on the 21st, probably earlier. I personally, I assume maybe she knew earlier. Uh, but she, said she knew on the 21st. And I asked her, um, how did you come to know about that? She said she got information from Kenya through a contact, and I said, who is the contact? 
what's the name? She gave me a name, first name. I asked, what about the second name? She said, she doesn't have it, or she doesn't know it. Then my second question was, um, how did you know this person? She said, when you introduce when you introduce this person in Kenya to her, um, because she does that sometimes. Now, she got that information from that person, from that contact. And I asked her, what did you do when you received that information? And she said she contacted Kalanta and asked Kalanta um, if he heard what is going on. And Kalanta said, yeah, that she should not worry. She should not worry, everything is, is fine, everything is fine, or that everything is fine, but that she should not worry. And um, also, that Kalanta asked her not to say anything about this matter. Mm. She, she, she told me that. Mm. I said not to say anything about that. Please, I don't need to be interrupted, please. And the Kalanta uh, told her not to say anything about it. And I said, okay, when you told Kalanta, who else did you tell? Why didn't you tell the leadership? Is it not that you, it's not because you don't know who the leadership is when you is not there? Why didn't you tell the leadership? Why didn't you tell the head of the directorate? Why didn't you tell members of the directorate? And so he gave me a very stupid reason, but I mean, that's for me. It doesn't make sense. She said um, at that time there were attacks on her, and um, she doesn't know who are behind those attacks. Maybe those also in the directorate because she believes that Mas Moru. Sorry, that Maz Mori is maybe one of the people behind the attack. I said, okay, but if Maz Mori is behind, what about the other people? So that argument uh, or that discussion ended there. Now, what I took from that is that she knew earlier on, on the 21st that when was arrested, she didn't tell anybody, and she told Kalonta, and they decided to keep it quiet. Hmm. I called Kalonta. I have to take something to drink. Okay. So, um, can I you hear me? I called Kalanta. So I, I call, I'm, call, I'm calling my dad. I haven't finished. So, I called Kalanta because I'm still answering your question. I called Kalanta and asked him, when did you become aware of Oyindu's problem? He said, like we had it. That he had it like we had it. That means he had it on the 27th. So he lied to me there and then, and that is when my, my, my disclosure began with him. But that is a different matter. He lied to me because already the other lady has told me he knew earlier. And what I did, convey the U.S. media, for people to also hear the same thing I heard. And I invited Kalonta. My intention was to invite both of them, but I decided first to invite Kalonta because we want to hear what he has to tell us. Having in mind that the other girl has to do something different, he came to this DOS and before all of us, he lied again that he had no idea until we knew and all the other rubbish he, he talked about. So to answer your question, that is the time I knew about Onion News arrest. And for that eight days, the man who was suffering, this, some people knew about it, it started to keep it quiet. Why? I don't know. Maybe when you do alone, you can tell us why. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so, so very much. You did a fantastic job there. Okay, the next thing is, when you were aware that um, this lady, or maybe it's kind of a light, and then that lady you asked, is she still in position as at this moment? Which lady? The lady that you called, is it the secretary? I don't know who you called. Caroline. Secretary, who? Mm -hmm. Oh, if she's still, if she's still at the, at, uh, at her position as secretary, yes. secretary yes. to yes. Yeah. I mean, her, I, secretary, I, I don't, I don't know if that makes any sense. I, you can't be secretary to, any, to somebody who's not there. He's not there okay. giving okay. instructions. It's, okay. it's redundant okay. as far as I'm concerned. Oh, thank you so much. Did you investigate after you gathered all this information? Has there been any investigation or a panel set since then? Uh, investi uh, panel set up? Why we leave investigate? We already have our facts. The things are clear. Well, so we know what happened. We know 
that the, the leadership became aware the day we became aware of it. We had no knowledge of that matter. That is a fact established by anybody. We don't need a, a panel to be able to find that out. Now, what we have done is that we said, okay, now we know what the problem is. We must try as much as we can now to concentrate on getting out there because what are we going to do? These people, um, the secretary does not exist anymore as far as I'm concerned. I'm not going to be wasting strength on you know making it more popular. Kalonta has also been, people have been told that Kalonta is not an officer of IPOB. He has no business giving instructions in IPOB affairs. He has no business at all. And I've told him himself directly, and I've also instructed um, those who are in leadership to take note of that. So we are doing what we are doing, um, you know, curtailing their excesses and also not getting fully distracted. So the, the panel issue, my dear, after all these things we have done, I don't know if it's still, still necessary. There we go. Okay, thank you so very much. You are fantastic. About um, the people that called or closed the accounts. Uh, uh, honorable, the honorable, please, can I say something before you continue, please? Okay, okay. Uh, Mazi Chike Dosiem, um, I, I, I just heard you say that uh, Caroline said she was away on the 21st, 21. Okay. I got a call. I, I have intel that Caroline knew hours as soon as our leader was abducted. Karen Takano also knew hours. Karen Takano also knew. So if, whenever you want to know, I will give you my info, you know, the source of my information. So she said on the 21st, she's still lying to you. She found that. Uh, yeah. The, yeah. So I'm just, I just wanted to say it here. So even the 21st, she yes, lied. Yes. She found out earlier than 21. And I have information. I have, yes, I can yes. validate that. Okay. Just to let you know. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes, yes, my dear sister. Yes, my dear sister. I will appreciate that. Doesn't you say? I will appreciate that information. Honestly, I will highly appreciate it if you make it available to me. I do. I cannot. Um, Tukabia Mabiami witness wants. Uh, well, like I said, those those situations are written about. It, we we need it to make sure that our people still understand at the appropriate time what really transpired. I'm interested in knowing those if there are any who deliberately conspired to have our lady killed. I'm interested in knowing who they are. So any information you have, evidence you have, please. I will appreciate you to have it. Thank okay. Um, I think that's what I'm saying. We have to discuss it to bring out the evidence. She, okay. she knew before the 21st. She lied when she said the 21st. I sent a motion to the, uh, to the party. I sent a, a motion to you guys. When you go through the motion, you will see I outlined it uh, in, you know, item by item. It's very self-descriptive. It's very evident. Okay. So when the time comes and you, when we start talking about you. this, okay, hold on. When we start talking about this, now it's going to be debating between the 21 and the 20th, somewhere between 19th and 20th. She knew hours after uh, our leader was abducted. She knew within hours. Kanan Takanu knew within hours. And I have evidence to prove that she knew within hours. She lied when she said 21, 21st. She knew before the 21st. They knew it was going to happen on the 19th. They knew after, after he came out from the fundraising. That's when it happened. And they called them from Kenya to tell them that he's under their custody. When they approached him, they placed a call. And Caroline received the call. She knew. Okay? And my informant is ready to come out and let the whole world know. Uh, Kano Takano knew within hours. They called them to confirm that the deal was has been completed. Okay, so she's lying to you when she said the 21st. The other thing I want to say, even if she said the 21st, you can still start your investigation with the 21. You don't want to know what I have. So you can even start with the 21st. She knew the 21st. She was hiding, pretending, tweeting, de uh, deceiving Biafran people. This is something you need to look into. The same people that have done it, it's still I'm, giving I'm information. I'm listening to you, my dear. I'm listening. I'm, yeah, um, so I need you to understand. I, said, I, look, look, please, please. I need you to understand that all the people that sold our leader, including the Nanayana, is still collaborating with the Nigerian government, the DSS, to hold, to hold him, to make sure they complete their act. That's what you need to know. We cannot uh, solve the, okay. any problem by hiding these things. These are facts. Nenayanya is the culprit behind this. 
Caroline and uh, Kanu Takanu, they are all working for Nenayanya. Nenayanya is in DOS. Nenayanya wants to kill our leader. She's still in the DOS. That's what I'm saying. That's what we need to take care of. Please, I need you to understand these things. This is the way it is. Nenayanya is still behind us. Listen, listen, madam. I understand what you're saying. Okay. I cannot give you my strategy on dealing with this matter. I cannot okay. give it to you, but I know what you're saying. Okay. You know Thank what you. I mean? That is, I know what you're saying. Okay. And I have a strategy that I'm doing to deal with. I cannot make it public to you. Okay. I beg for if you don't mind. No, I don't. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So I leave it at that. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. And um, were well, you aware of the, the individuals that called uh, for the closure of our accounts? Um, if I was aware of the individuals yes. yeah. that were associated with the closure of our accounts. The yes. ESN account. The ESN account. Well, I was aware that there are deems that, that was published by Mrs. Nelly as they as those who have something to do with that and also i received um some some um communication written communication from um Mrs. on uh, information to receive from the bank about the report and all that and in that um, official communication yes the account was reported to fraud who reported it was not stated and have said Yes, Madam Nelly has names published, but there is only one way I can be sure that these names are there involved. They are suspect they are, they are, they are, they are genuinely there is an indication that they are involved, and this is possible that they are. But then, if I do not have a supporting document from authorities saying yes. This individual or these individuals reported this account. That is, for me, still an allegation that cannot be proved, and I am not expected to act on on that because that is what I am called to do. And I have requested, and I have said, even when uh, Mazi, I believe Mazi Muru and Osama came to you to, to speak to to you, mothers, and um, they also. I mentioned it, but if they didn't, let me say it now. If what I requested initially, and I, that was that if there is a possibility to get, even if it has to involve money, to make the bank give us that information because we are, we are customers, we are entitled to it somehow. To US. Let us follow that process and get that information. It will seal the whole matter. It's no longer being the realm of allegation. But in the realm of good far. And if you act on that, the spirit and humans will be on your side. Without that, I'm sure nobody will act um, based on mere allegations. At least I was not thought to act in that form. Thank, Thank you. you so Thank you so much. And you are aware that if you're a public servant mm -hmm. and there is an allegation out there against you, that the first thing you do is to recuse yourself. Pending investigation. Are you aware? Sorry, what did you say? I'm aware if you're a public if you're, servant and allegation if is you're a public servant, If you're a public servant, okay, and there is an allegation, you know, against you, and it, 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 is, it, it is out there in the open, what do you think you're supposed to do? Are you supposed to recuse yourself? Or maybe step, step aside? Pending investigation, or even the company will tell you to step down mm -hmm. for investigation. I, to, I, I, to, are you aware? As a, as, a, as the head of DOS, what do you think you're supposed to do? And immediately you get this, you got this kind of a wedgy allegation. What do you, I mean, what do you think you're supposed to have done? When I received wedgy allegations against Principal Sabbath. Mm -hmm. If you're, public, if you're a public servant, if you're a public servant, if you're serving in an office, okay, and there is an allegation against you, 
Madam, ma, ma, madam, 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 don't, don't, don't do hypothesis. Tell it to me how it is. We are in IPOB. We are not in in, in companies of or or firms. We are in IPOB. Just, just let me finish. IPOB will always be our where we begin our hypothesis or whatever our our explanation. IPOB is there. Go tell me what you mean in IPB, and I'll answer you directly. I don't want to go about. I don't. I don't work in a company. I work. I work differently, so I wouldn't know really what happened there. I never worked as a civil servant. I don't know how they work. So tell okay. me about. Um, I'll be able to okay. tell you, answer you properly. Do you know that you're serving the Biafrans? Yes, I'm serving Biafran people. Yes. Under the leadership of a movement of led by Okay. The there is, and there is a West allegation that Biafran was sold because Inandikan is a figurehead. Okay? He is the leader of this movement. And he, he was sold. And you got this information as the next in command of Nandekano. And you got this kind of wet information. And you never cared about telling those people to step aside pending in the investigation. Even when one of them were, was stressing, shouting, talking to you, writing memos, telling you that I have evidence. And you never cared to bring those people in question. Of course, you know that there are eight names. No, number of people that will call the bank for the closure of the accounts. And you never cared to say, okay, let me investigate on what happened. And they're still taking salary if they're taking, or they're still serving our people up till now. And you are the second in command, and you never cared to investigate on this sweaty allegation. What do you think about it? Thank you. Thank you, my dear. Thank you. And I also... Am I coming out? So I'm yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, Somebody yeah, is calling. Yeah, yeah. There is a phone call on my. There is a call. Just hold on for a few minutes. <laughs> sorry. It's coming yeah. up. Mm. Can't. Mm. 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 Sister, you picking call. Don't be cool. Just let's go. Cool. Sister, don't you have to hold on for a minute. Yeah. Can I unmute can I unmute her now? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Unmute her. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. It's not. It's not muted. Okay. Go ahead. Can you hear me? Yes. You can hear him, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I was saying that I thank uh, sister um, that just spoke, uh, especially again because at the last conclusion of her statement, she said it all. She said it all because she said I'm the last. I'm the second in command. I'm the second in command. The first in command is there. Is there? I cannot. I cannot. Honestly, be expected to um, take over the work of the first command. The first command is reachable. He is still in charge, and that is what I have been trying to let our people know. That is also what the enemy wants us to prove. They want us to isolate our leader. Isolate him in the sense that be, uh, believing that he's not in control. Oyendu is in control, and that is what we must push across. We, I am second in command. When there are issues that I can deal with immediately and deal with as second in command that does not need the input of Oyendu, I deal with them because I know he has taught me how to deal with those issues. But if there are so weighty issues that we need the first in command to make an input. I will act according to his instructions. And as I'm speaking to you, Oyendu is seized of the eye of the of the of the allegations about his head of finance. I know the instructions as he told me to 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 carry out based on that. He has not asked me to remove anybody, and I cannot remove anybody because Oyendu. People are going around saying. Um, I said it on my on my on my broadcast, um, and I'm very disappointed. 
if you go around, you're talking about uh, what, what is it called? Autopilot. What is the meaning of autopilot? Autopilot, when the leader is there, are we, are we, are we deliberately trying to isolate him? That, every, that now we are running autopilot, no, there is a vacuum of leadership. I said it on my own because that is what they want us to do. We must push it there all the time that the union do is in charge. That is the, what scares the awareness. If we reduce his authority, we are putting him in danger. And I cannot be part of that. So until he tells me in that very serious allegation, very serious matter that he appointed um, the head of finance and taking into account that these allegations have been there before he got this issue that he has now. He was already aware of it. He hasn't acted on them. And up to now, he hasn't asked me to act on it. I don't think it's reasonable for me to act without his authority. I can't do that. That is why I'm a very, very simple, obedient, um, well, uh, um, um, follower. That is how it is. I know where my responsibility lie. I know where my duties lie. I know where I am expected to act. And in those areas, be rest assured that I will act. Where the input of Oyendu is needed, I will wait for his input before I act. We are here also. We may disagree on that, but that is my outlook of this whole situation. I have been, I have been in this movement, to grab my nose for as long as I can remember. And I took oath to protect it, and I took oath to be loyal to Oyendu Masanga. So I will remain in that that line. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Do you know? Do you know? We are talking about this because we did not wake up that day and hear that Onyendu is dead. Thank you. Are you aware? I'm sorry, my dear. What did you say? I said, do you know that we are talking about this? Talking about investigation. We could have woke up that day and they are, oh, Mazin Nandikanu is dead. I, I can't even imagine that that no, that kind of thing is going to happen. It's not going to happen. I, I imagine that when, you raise, when you raise a matter, let me respond. And I'm going to, I'm speaking to you as mothers, but I'm going to put my positions clear. Okay. This is what I can even imagine. You can imagine it, and I'm not going to make it um, imagine, uh, Im to be imagined by answering to it. I can't imagine it happening, and that's my answer to that. Okay, okay. please, can you I say something? Uh, Miss Red Mary was raising. Good afternoon, Madam Rosemary. He's still talking. He's still talking, children. Okay. He's still answering. Okay. Go ahead, Mas. Because I will take two more questions if I beg for your understanding more questions that may really need my answers that other officers haven't given answers to. Mm -hmm. And I will honorably and humbly ask. Okay. Please, um, uh, please can, Mazi, can you guys excuse me to ask one of the questions since they're allowing to. So, Mazi, can you still hear me? This is Nelly. I can hear you, madam. Okay. Um, I'm going to start by saying that uh, everything you said, Riz, I disagreed with everything you said, but I agree on one thing now. Did you, you said about Onyendu uh, giving instruction. Do you, you know that Onyendu gave instruction for the liaison account, for every single dime in the liaison account to be moved to the ESN account? Are you aware that Onyendu gave that instruction? I said it tonight on my broadcast. I said it, madam. If you listen, you will hear me say. It. I said it there. Okay. And do I you said know that she has refused? <laughs> okay. Do you know that she was at the uh, regional meeting and she said it will be over her dead body before she transferred the money? Did you know that part of that story? Now, now listen to me. Okay. I haven't finished answering your question. Oh, okay. Sorry. If you may pardon me. You may pardon me. I said in my broadcast. Of course, I was aware that. I spoke to her. I spoke to her. What? That's the point. I, because I, it's not everything I do that I, I got directive of what to do. I spoke to um, uh, 
Mrs. Chinya, Mrs. Chinya, Mrs. Omole. I spoke to her and I, I conveyed Oyindu's instruction to her. And Oyindu's instruction was that she should transfer every ESN phone there to the ESN account in the US. I told her that. And she told me that, yes, Mary, she will agree with me on everything, but this one she will not obey. Mm -hmm. I said, no problem. I have delivered, now listen, I have delivered my message. And I went back to Oyindu. And the only came back to me and told me what to do. And I also said it on my brokers. Okay, if you do not want to transfer all the funds there to ESN account, now you must not remove any more Kobo from that account. From that, from today that I made it clear, because every the time that the 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 opportunity not well not opportunity but the time that we will ask the auditors to look into that account it will be on record that you were told from this day not to move any more funds on that i said it on air so um i am doing what i am asked to do I okay. I okay okay one more thing what about the, the instruction that onion do gave to nen nayanga what instruction to move all the money, ESM money, in her position to the ESN account. The same thing that she told you, uh, that was the same instruction that was given to Chinya Ramwonye. Then Nayanya was told to move all the money. She has not moved a dime. Miss Lenny, Miss Lenny, I will humbly suggest that you, you listen to my broadcast list tonight because all these questions, they, they, they are dealt with them there. Okay, Please, okay, I will. My, my mother, okay, I, all of you, my I, mother, I, I, I will appreciate it. Listen to it. Uh, you get more information, but all these things are dealt with them there. Please can I ask one one more question. Okay, let other let other people take their turn. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, we agree. Oh my God! You are wasting time. Early, my turn. Okay, okay. Sorry, All right, Rosemary, go ahead. Madam Rosemary, sorry. I go ahead, I Rosemary. You, I thank you for making our time to answer our call. As you know, we are the mothers. Before we are the mothers, we are umwada, umwadi. And uh, when things are happening in Biafra land, umwada need to put mouth in it. Here, I i am not going back to what my sisters have already said, but from all indications, from what you told us today, and from what we already have from Mazi, China, Samoru, and Mazi of former. It's uh, down to every Biafra man, woman, child, or adult, or anybody, that Miss Caroline Uche Nna, oh, car for Coca for Corners, is part and parcel of whatever happened to our Oyendu in Kenya. And he has an ally, which she willingly gave us. That's Mazi Kano Takano, the brother to our leader. It was working with her, plus another Kenya person, agent we do not know. It is true that Mazi is no longer in the office now because he is suffering in the dungeon of the Nigerian DSS. But that office that Caroline is holding, whether Mazi is here or not, we want you to pronounce that office vacant. We want you, as the head of DOS, to pronounce from your mouth, say that this office has been vacated so that their friends all over the world will know that that office 
is gone. Yeah. Also, evidence has been pointing left and right to Mas uh, to Miss Nanya Anya. Nanya Anya. Oh, Mrs. Nanya Anya. Mrs. Nanya Anya has been occupying a very important position in Biafra struggle because she has been the World Bank uh, uh, manager that has been in Germany up to now. And she has betrayed us. She has betrayed Biafrans. She has betrayed everybody that put their hope and their struggle in this in this uh, Biafra restoration, she has betrayed our Onyendu. And whether Onyendu is here or not, you are his next in command. We are not telling you to to disrespect Onyendu. We are not telling you to you know to disobey him. We know that you are working for Onyendu. Dear friends all over the world, we know if you do this for us. We know that you are working for Onyendu. We want Nanyanya to vacate her seat. We want you to suspend her for now. Suspend her. We did not say fire her until all these investigations is completed. And in that list, that uh, there is no fire without a, there's no smoke without fire like people say and on that list that have those eight members in them that has Uchenna and has a uh, and has dr koro and has unis and has a uh, 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 and has a uh, um gift chinwe what's her last name Eddie watch you All those people mentioned there, oh, well, that is the evidence and oh, well, that's the evidence of command and control. Yes. The command and control oh. means that our onion do is somewhere, but you are in his nest in command. He gave you every he, he before he put you on that position, you know what you can do. So you cannot say now that Onion, if you don't do, don't go to the the. Oh, by the way, have you seen him since he's inside the inside the DOS uh, uh, this thing or something that people go in and tell you, just like they tell us something and they come out and contradict it. So we want those people there. If you we, I don't know. There are friends that have been calling here. I hope I'm speaking your mind. Those yes. people on that yes. list should be suspended immediately pending, pending investigation on your kid your chakra the culture on your mana yamaya so but before then because again we're in there on you and do like who chen naya who chen naya my hem and on you and do and i'm on the non because all of them in that list they are the ones backing liaison account yes all of them None of them respect the umu 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 eri and, and uh, leri, right? Okay. None of All right, them. we are back. All of them solidarity in solidarity with the liaison account. And when I asked about it, Lady Chinyere, I she said to me that that is the account that uh, Canon Takano approved. The one Mazi. She chica a dozen brought was a fraud. So that's what we have been going on. So if you, the head of the state, the head of the DOS, can bring us a fraud account and the canon takano give them the account that they have been running about uh, with, which means they are dividing. We are saying that we don't have money. Our money is going somewhere. It's divided. We don't even have people bringing money. And this, so here today, Umada, Jeffrey women, Jeffrey IPOD all over the world, we are talking. We say, please, with your power, better power that was given to you by our own we want them to be suspended. 
Okay. Until the investigation okay. is done. That's okay. what we are okay. talking about. Okay. And should I go restaurant? He wants to restaurant. I think your questions are, uh, you have answered, you have asked the question, right? I don't know if, if uh, you still have more, because uh, before I forget uh, what you're asking me and to be able to, um, before the law was uh, broken, I misunderstood you making two repairs. The first one concerned um, the secretary of our leader. Mm -hmm. And let me say something. The secretary of our leader is not an IPOB official. I don't know if all of you know that. There was a place, um, I don't know if you need me, I wanted to refer to her as a IPOB secretary. I said, she is not IPOB secretary. She is not an IPOB office. Mm -hmm. It is of most of you. Well, not you people there now. It is just a lot of, a lot of people in USA that, that raised her profile for nothing. She is a private secretary to Onyendu. And if Onyendu is not there, her work ceases. I have nothing to do with her because coming on air to announce that she's uh, she needs to be is to make her important. As far I never spoke to, to the lady for until until these issues began. I mean, really, of course, Oyendu has asked me to speak to her one or two couple of times. That was it because she's not at will be officer. So my point, and I'm still going to maintain here, is. As far as Oyendu is not there, then she has no job. And if you ask me to come and announce her, she, if she's an IPOB officer, I will come and announce her. She, the, her post is no longer there. Mm -hmm. There is no post that connects IPOB to, to uh, that she's holding that connects her to IPOB. Oyendu's private secretary. Now, regarding Mrs. Aya, I will use just Oyendu's word to answer that, to answer your, your request for more that. Can know about you. I hope all of you probably are not new, but I don't know about you. I respect, I do honestly do respect all of you from the bottom of my heart. We may disagree on certain implementation that concerns IPOB. We may disagree, but that does not take away my respect for you. Now, Mrs. Sanya Oyendu will say time, timing is the key. Timing is the key. I have already said that here that the um, methodology or technique that I'm using to deal with some of this is not what I'm going to make public. And to, to I believe um, taking into that word, timing is key. At the appropriate time, these things will be done as just did. But pushing me to do it before that time may even be um, maybe more negative. So I am aware of my the expectations of people on this one. And I have said, and listen to my broadcast. Listen to the broadcast. Some of your concerns in, in some ways have been dealt with, at least for a beginning. All the questions I've asked, except the, the issue that concerned the uh, 200 people that were killed and then the, the arrest in, 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 in Ghana. Most of the other things somehow a little bit of And the third demand or request, I didn't really hear it because the, the line went 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 back. And when I when we came back, I was not sure about it. You want me to say, repeat them? Yes. Yeah, do you want her to repeat? Do you want her to repeat yeah, she what she said? Oh, yeah. Yes, online. Yeah, I mean, I have to remove somebody to bring her in. So, who am I removing? And remove me, Chita oh. wouldn't let me ask more questions. Okay. <laughs> who, is who, is who is online? 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 Okay. My request. I, I can go out. Mm. I can leave. My, my request. Okay. Who? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I can leave. leave. I can 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 leave
Nelly is gone. Can you hear me? Mm. Yeah, let me look. Yeah, Nelly, Nelly, Nelly just leave. left. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. I'm not disturbing you. Yeah. Okay. What my request was and continue to be that everybody that was oh, listed oh. in that in that uh, list because we know that that list uh, Caroline is on it. Nanyaya is on it. Shinyere, you need someone is on it. And the rest of them that were implicated that called and uh, reported our bank uh, uh, fraud. But whether they reported the bank fraud or not, but as long as they are working with Caroline and Nanyaya, and we want them to be suspended everybody on that list pending the investigation because we cannot have you can have oh. when something is is inside your inside your house and biting you you know you change you might go she then you come and you tell you, you we are IBOB, we are their friends. We tell our plans on how to go and get our onion out. But the people on the top that are part of these things, they are directing us. Hmm? Okay. That's okay. that's Nanyaya. She's the principal officer. You need someone, she's a principal officer. Mazokoro, he's a okay. principal officer, and all of them. So they are okay, directing okay. us. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, I think I got. I I got your question. I got your com, com, your request now. So uh, just for me to answer, I will just simply answer that yes, I have heard your request. Um, my mother, I have heard your request, and. If I say I have taken note of it, does not it's not that I'm leaving you a promise so that tomorrow you will not say those and promise to, to send them out or to suspend them. But I've taken note of it. But I also um, want you to bear in mind that um, yes, your argument is cogent that these people uh, genuinely has been indicted and they cannot remain within us um, and allow to operate free. The first question is, even if they are there, are they operating freely? Are they operating free? Now, if you are already aware and have your suspicion, so will you allow them to operate freely? Now, I want to say that the OS will not allow them. In the meantime, they are still there. The DOS will not allow them to operate freely. Now, because and we have our our fears, and we have our, um, we have probably very good reason to be suspicious. So we must put things in place, and not to get ourselves um, taken by surprise. That said, um, don't forget that taking into account the positions these individuals are holding, and also the fact that they are holding our money. I want to ask, don't you think there is a possibility if we do not gradually um, cut their wings and then prevent them after when now we will sack them from committing any harm? That is also what we have to consider. And you don't know whether the OS, like I said also, these things are it may not it may not happen immediately that you require them but timing will be the key because we will have to make sure that if there are damages that are going to come it will be a minimal damage when that action that you're requested the requesting now takes place and with this my dear sweet mothers i think i will humbly again thank all of you and for this wonderful opportunity given to me to speak with people to have this conversation, I appreciated it to, to a great extent, and I hold all of you in great highest esteem. 
I, I began this movement from being a national coordinator. I organized the family that started here in Switzerland. I was even, I didn't even want to. Carol, Carol, Monday, the rest day. It, uh, I know how we wanted to bring somebody up to start that family here. And he disappointed. And he just fell on me. I didn't want to, but I did. I built the family in Switzerland from being immediately a national coordinator. And after a while, I became at the European rep. From being European rep, I built Europe. When the first crisis came, I was in charge of Europe. I maintained that Europe did not fall, and Europe never fell. Oyendu came out, and the most, even with gasoline, so in Asia and America, all the places, Europe was under my charge, and we remained loyal to Oyendu. From being the European rep, I was added to the Directorate of State, and I was made the Secretary of Directorate of State. When this opportunity to serve the France in this position as HOD came, I refused it. I refused it, and those that brought it knew that I refused it. When he convinced me to take it, I said, okay, I'll serve our people. And I'm promising you that I'm going to serve our people in all truth and honesty. I took all to do that. But I will be 101% loyal. And with this, I will leave you people, and ask you here to continue to guide all of you in whatever you're doing. Thank you so much for this opportunity.